if I have gone further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. So the giants in this context, of course, would be experts. Each one of us has a different rhythm and tempo and uh, attraction and interest. Um, we're only very unique. And so the, the process of the intake of information and learning is going to be different for each and every one of us. As a student, I use experts more as a guide, as a way to find my own path to learning. Today, it's, it's very hard to determine who an expert is. There's strengths and weaknesses, things that they do correctly, and things that they can improve upon, basically. Experts can be wrong. There is no one particular expert, and yes, experts, a lot of them are wrong. You have to start with one person, always, that's kind of a, a basic, but then you need to move on. You need to get more people, more information, more sources, and there is no easy approach. It's really about informing yourself as much as possible and creating as many sources as possible. The way an expert thinks about the world is he or she juggles all these cups at the same time and he keeps it or she keeps it in motion long enough to solve this problem. And you wind up not with four objects, you wind up with one object. And this object is easier to juggle than all four. I've always told when students are thinking about something, whether something is true or false, my advice to them is always think that it's false. Do your best to find a counterexample. Find a case where it's not true. If you don't, the process you went through to try and figure out, figure out a counterexample and fail generally becomes key steps in an argument as to why it's true. Bear in mind, Get to a place where you can be proficient. You need it to practice. You need to devote yourself to practice. And you need to devote yourself to practice in as many contexts in which you can come up with. This is how we, in a way, train ourselves in order to realize that the world is complex. To prepare ourselves for the problems that we'll face, we have to dedicate ourselves to sort of a mindfulness about how are we going to approach problems. There are experts, but it's really up to you to, to multiply that, to create, your, to create options, so that way you can take yourself and the whole aspect of learning, not only now, but in the future, to, to higher, preferably higher levels.